Knowing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is more than saying, I believe. Learn about Catholicism and become a premium member of RealCatholicTV.com today. The cost of the subscription is more than worth the price. Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris coming to you from the Philippines on the fourth day of our island hopping tour and this time we're back here in Manila. We thought it might be a good idea to share with you the thoughts and perceptions about the church from other than an American perspective. If you've had the opportunity to follow the Vortex the past couple of weeks, you'll know that we've been in Africa for a week, specifically Nigeria, and now we're over here in the Philippines. By the way, here's a shout out to our friends in Nigeria. Hello, Patrick and Michael and Kyle. You probably also know that we've had the opportunity to sit down and have some good in-depth discussions with some very fine bishops in both Africa and Asia. Church leaders share many of the same concerns that their counterparts do in the West, not to mention the Holy Father himself, the terrible lack of catechesis and the monumental, monumental damage to the, done to the faithful as a result. The other night, we were invited to eat dinner with two bishops at a private reception for the opening of a new church facility in Bacolod. Here, we had a wonderful and wide-ranging conversation. Obama's chances for re-election was one of the topics that came up. They have a huge stake in what happens this November in the United States presidential contest here in Manila. They're deeply concerned that the money and influence from Obama's buddies at the UN, as well as international population groups, will continue to flow into the Philippines and slowly corrupt the morals of their flock through pushing for contraception. They're also very much aware of the influence of the American media, both news and entertainment, and fear that some of the Catholic population here is already being drawn in. In fact, it was specifically the issue of the diabolical influence of American media that Bishop Vincente Navarra of Bacolods helped us and welcomed us to come and speak to his clergy about. This same is true in Africa. Wherever there is a heavy media influence, it's the American influence. And various prelates and priests we spoke with there have the exact same concerns and fears as they do here. Back here in the Philippines, the president of the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, the equivalent of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops President, Cardinal Timothy Dolan, shared his concerns with us in a 30-minute meeting in his office last week. He too has the exact same concerns, the American influence is being felt by the universal church universally, and the influence is not good. The prospect of an Obama victory in November is too daunting for them to think about, and they are hoping that somehow the Catholic majority that voted Obama into office last time around can somehow be convinced to vote him out this time around. But more than politics per se, these bishops in Asia and Africa we visited with, as well as the large number of priests and nuns, are feeling that heavy hand of the American cultural and moral rot all the way across oceans. In some ways, when you visit some of the third world and emerging world nations, you get a feel for how things might have been in America in days past. Despite the glaring poverty we've seen firsthand, there is, like in America's past, a deep love and desire for close family ties a basic understanding that the family is the backbone, that individuals and the church, not the state, need to help their neighbors. The bishops we spoke with expressed these very sentiments, that to rely on the state beyond the absolute minimum necessities will have very bad and serious consequences. They simply do not trust their respective governments owing to rampant corruption. An interesting contrast between the Philippines and the U.S. with regard to the faith is that here, Catholics in the, are the overwhelming majority. In the United States, Catholics have always been the overwhelming minority and always feeling like they have to accommodate the larger Protestant majority. This has endangered the faith really in two different ways. There are two different courses of actions. This has resulted in two different self-perceptions in America versus the Philippines. The faith in the Philippines is a self-assured faith. Catholic imagery is everywhere. In fact, Catholicism is everywhere. In one of Manila's largest shopping malls, take a look at this video. Every Sunday at 11 a.m., you can attend Mass. Yep, you heard right, Mass in the mall. The churches are so jam-packed, there's not enough room and not enough Masses, so they have Mass in the malls and other public places. Witnessing this as an American was almost dumbfounding, and it's representative of the difference between a Catholic nation and a Protestant one. 
Catholicism is rooted in the church, the mystical body of Christ to which we all belong, but Protestantism is rooted in the individual, a society rooted in the concept of the supremacy of the individual over the common good will eventually cease to exist as a society at all. With America's high-tech, energy, flashy, glamorous appeal to the individual, to the consumer, with never a care or concern for what damage will result to the culture as a whole, the Catholic hierarchy in these countries are worried that American cultural Protestant will, Protestantism will swamp their poor little Catholic boats. Privately, what they are hoping and praying for is that Catholics in America will be able to somehow stem the tide of American cultural imperialism and place America on a truly Catholic path. In short, the Universal Church needs reinforcements, and it's looking to the church in America for that much-needed foreign aid. As we ended our dinner discussion, a final thought came up. Before the American nation can be turned around, the Catholic Church in America needs turning around. And unsurprisingly, that comment struck a familiar chord with us. Reporting from Manila, the Philippines, God love you. I'm Michael Voris.